Producing a large poster in Publisher 2010 The first thing to consider when producing a poster is its size. If you are tasked with developing a poster presentation, you will have been advised by your tutor of the size requirement, and that's usually A0 or A1. We do have specialist printers capable of producing these images available on some of our campuses. So what are the A page sizes? Let's have a look at this table in more detail. If you take two sheets of normal A4 paper and join them together at their longest edge, you'll have a page the size of A3. And if you continue doubling like this, always along the longest edge, you will eventually come to A0. A0 is 16 times larger than A4 and the final dimensions are 1189 millimetres by 841 millimetres. It's a good idea to try and remember these numbers as publisher does not normally have A0 or A1 available as a standard size. So when we're ready to create our poster we open up publisher click on the file tab and then select new from the sidebar. We then click on more blank page sizes and when we scroll down to the custom area we select create new page size and the new page size dialog window opens prompting us for a name for this new size. I'm just going to name this A0 portrait and then I'll be able to find it and use it easily again. The default measurement for the page width and height is centimetres and so using the A0 dimensions we looked at before I'm going to put the width at 84.1 centimetres and the height at 118.9 centimetres. You can adjust these margin guides if you wish but the default settings are normally quite adequate. And click on OK and you'll see here we have the A0 portrait sample and it's also in the custom area. It's the same process for A1 or any other size that your tutor may have specified. You can get the required values from the table we saw before but you just need to remember to divide the numbers given in millimetres by 10 to convert them to centimetres. So when we're ready to use the template we just need to select the required template and click on create. And you'll see that the application opens with the new size document there. For further help please don't hesitate to contact us at digitalskills at cumbria.ac.uk or go to the Skills at Cumbria tab in Blackboard for more general help guides.